Hi, my name is Riley. I'm making this video for my Tech 1010 class talking about nanotechnology and the animal kingdom. So what exactly is nanotechnology? Nanotechnology is the science of things that are super small. It goes into science, engineering, technology on a nanoscale. And a nanoscale is um, about 1 to 100 nanometers, which is super small. So nanotechnology is basically taking things that are super small and involving the ability to see and control those individual atoms and molecules um, and be able to use them and understand them better um, within technology, within engineering, um, some of those things that, that I had mentioned before. Um, but something as small as an atom, it's impossible to see. It's very hard to, to use and control and so once scientists have the right tools, they're able to, to use those atoms. Um, and the microscope was one thing that became very useful in being able to see atoms and how they act and how they react and, and the different things that they can be used for, how we can use atoms and molecules and see them with the, through those microscopes to be able to use them. Um, but nanotechnology in the, in the animal kingdom um, and having to do with friction, we're supposed to talk about friction. And so friction is the two, when two surfaces slide together, friction is what causes something to slow down. So for example, if you were to roll a ball on a flat surface, friction would be what causes the ball to stop eventually. And so how is this applied in the animal kingdom? Um, well, the first thing that came to mind are snakes, because snakes um, slither along flat surfaces. Um, and how are they able to do that? Um, and in the article that I, that I came across, it talked about how snakes use friction generated by their scales and retro redistribution of their weight to slither along flat surfaces. And so they use their, their scales to kind of push themselves along those surfaces, and that's how they're able to move. Um, they also said that they found that snakes' belly scales, because snakes have scales on their belly as well as on the outside, they're a little bit different. Um, but those scales are oriented so that snakes resist sliding toward their tails um, so that they can go forward instead of backwards. And so those scales are used to, to push the snake forward um, as they slither along. Um, and so that nanotechnology, those, those molecules are very small, but they, they're very effective in friction um, and slowing things down. And for snakes' sake, making them be able to, to move on flat surfaces. So that was pretty interesting. But there's my video. Thanks for watching.